Hey guys, Comet here. Welcome to the first video in what will be a hopefully very long and productive series. Um, I've been playing Oxygen Not Included for about a year now, and I've been loving it ever since. And I've learned a lot from YouTube and different forums on different builds and optimizing different things. And so I want to make a series where I go from the very beginning all the way to late game and I explain how to do every little thing along the way. So I'm going to be min-maxing a lot of builds, doing a lot of testing, and coming up with optimal strategies. And I know there's a lot of stuff out there already, but I want to show kind of the process that I go through. So the first thing I look for, because I have a very particular playstyle, is the map. So if you don't know this already, um, there's a tool, a browser tool, called, well, Tools Not Included. And you can search for maps with certain criteria. So you can just type in Tools Not Included on any, any browser. Um, I'll leave a link to it in the description. If you don't want to be bothered to type it in, you can just click on the link. So there's a map here that... Okay, so things I'm looking for... Uh, well, first of all, I should probably explain... Explain this. So, I have Badlands selected. Um, if you just deselect it, then you're searching through all maps. Um, so, I, I like Iridio, Badlands, and Rhyme. Uh, I'm not sure why. I just... They fit my playstyle, I guess. Uh, so, we're on Badlands right now. I have at least one copper volcano, at least one gold volcano, at least one iron volcano, no leaky oil fissures, those are completely useless, and nine oil reservoirs. So you can put four traits up here that you want the map to have, so metal rich is a big one for me because I like building. Um, I don't like dealing with magma channels and irregular oil is just annoying because then you have oil all over the map instead of just being in one place. Um, so this first one, let's take a look at it. Now, along with those traits, I'm also looking at where everything is placed. I normally split the map up into two sides, and so I need this very center to be cleared of most things. So this stuff right here is going to kind of be in the way. Now what I put in the center is my duplicate transport tube and my main power spine. This one... This one looks pretty good, actually. Now, I do have a mod that will allow me to deconstruct uh, thermal nullifiers and neural vacillators and all of the different little stuff left over from Gravitas. That is called deconstructable... Uh, POI, points of interest. I did play a map where I actually went through and melted everything, but after doing that once, you don't really want to do it a third or a fourth. Uh, chlorine vents. Chlorine vents really only work on Badlands, or maps where you can get access to dash assault mines. Now I really wish gassy moos were actually viable because uh, it's just a really interesting idea actually getting or turning chlorine into natural gas that gives chlorine vents a use. Oh this is weird. Okay, uh, I think it's the second one that I like the most. Yeah. Right, we've got... Is that just one? Just one water source? Ah, oh, that's not gonna be enough. Let's try this one. See, this... The reason I skipped over this one was because I thought this gold volcano might be in the way. Um, we 
we could try. So we got well, how many? Six here for Badlands. Let's see if we get any for Rhyme. Seven. Okay. Oh, this one's pretty good. Steam vents kind of close to those. Um, very open in the center. Let's see what about water sources? We got you and you. Close left geysers are probably the most amazing geyser. You can do so much with them early game. Uh, you gotta be careful with them though. They might make your crops too cold. Let's see. This one's got a lot of volcanoes. Uh, water. Water kind of far away. Uh, a lot of room to build over here, but I like to put in my duplicate housing kind of towards the center of the map. So I like having a little bit of a bubble. All the volcanoes are in the very bottom. This one looks pretty good. Got a decent amount of water. One of each volcano. I'll probably end up deconstructing this because it's completely useless. Um, let's try a couple more. As you can probably tell, I am very picky and OCD. But that just means that everything I build will be absolute perfection. Well, as close as I can really get. This one, two hydro, three hydrogen vents, oh my god. This one's pretty good too. I could probably fit duplicate housing in here. Center is open. If that's in the way, I don't think it will be. I can deconstruct it. We got... Uh, what along the lines of water? Not very much. So this one's a pretty good one. So I don't even know which one I'm on now. No, this is the one I just did. It's not going to work. I already looked at that one. Okay, so there was like one on Rhyme. Let's try Iridio. There's one on Badlands, one on Rhyme. Let's see if we can find one for Iridio. This one... This one looks pretty good. I don't know which one to pick. Uh, it'd be well, this is going to be in the oil biome, so to break in, uh, I would still need Atmos suits for that. Well, not necessarily. Uh, I got that for water, hydrogen, iron, copper, chlorine. This one's pretty good, too. Oh, there's only two of these, okay. Mm, I don't like this one as much. Alright, so we've got this one. This one. Clicked 
on that one. That's too dense down at the bottom. I think this one was it. This being in the very center kind of bugs me, because if I have to go around it with my, uh, oh, where's the center? I think the center is just to the right of it, which means I can fit the tube right down here. I got water, I got my volcanoes. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this one. I mean, I'm going to be stuck with the map for, like, 2,000 cycles, so I want to make sure I pick a good one. So that was this one. Let's look at this one. No, that, that fissure's in there. Reservoir's in the way. Okay. Yeah. Do we have no glimmering planets? That sucks. That's another thing to look for, because that's how you get uh, tungsten. But there's a couple of ice biomes we can use for tungsten. And I have made a video, have, has, yeah, I have made a video on a tungsten melter, or insulation melter that gets you tungsten. Uh, but let's go to oxygen not included now. New game, survival. After 10 minutes of setup, I finally get to the game. The seed. And I don't think you can copy it. Control V. Oh, it does work. Okay, cool. Uh, default settings. And let's go. So I used to use back when I was getting bored, the more difficult settings where they would stress and need more food. But once you do that a couple of times, it doesn't really add anything more to the game, because really you just have to do the same thing, but more of it. Specifically farms. Um, but now we get into dupe selection. I like to take two diggers and, and a researcher. And then I look for digging, so that's plus seven excavation and mole hands right here. So I'll reroll this for a while, it, it takes quite a bit of time, so I'll probably just jump ahead until I find a good dupe. Alright, so Lyra here, she'll work. She got plus seven in excavation and mole hands. Uh, gastrophobia, that's eh, irrelevant. So now we'll try and get something similar with Max here. So there's another mole hands with plus seven, but they have allergies. So if I ever want to grow uh, bristle, ber bristle berries later, then uh, I can't have Camille working in the farm. Um, it's not that big of a deal late game, but early game it'll hinder your play a little bit. So I'm gonna reroll Camille here. Okay, so now I have a Nicola with mole hands and yokel. You cannot do researching errands, which is perfect, because all of our researching will be done by this duplicate. So mole hands and yokel is probably the very best thing I could have gotten. And again, stress reactions, I don't know if I've said this, but they they don't really matter. They're unique to each dupe, so every nisbet, for example, will be deconstructive. Um, but really, your dupes shouldn't be getting stressed, so they're irrelevant. So I'm going to re-roll Nisbet here to try and find uh, plus 7 in researching and uh, science down here. Or, 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 quick learner, sorry. So we have Joshua here researching plus 7 in science and they're a quick learner. Now Mouth Breather, uh, early game it can be a problem, but later on it's really not a problem at all. So he's going to consume twice the amount of air 
Uh, for the way I play, it won't really matter later on, but uh, I'll try again to try and get something a little bit better than Mouth Breather. And as a matter of fact, I will put a list of traits that your starting duplicants should and should not have, just to make things easier for you if you're starting out and don't know kind of what to look for. Alright, so we have Marie here. She will work uh, plus seven science, quick learner, and pacifist. Cannot do attacking errands. And usually the attacking errands will be done by your diggers anyway, so uh, these two negative traits are probably the best uh, traits that I could have gotten on these dupes. So, what to name this? That took me longer to come up with the name than it did to find the dupes. Um, and I spelled science wrong. Science. Embark. Now I'm calling it the science series because I am going to try and break down the science behind everything that I do. And why I do it. So, is that chlorine over there? Oh dear. Okay, uh, it's so hot over there. The first thing I do is dig out a little ways, both sides. Don't don't dig up the oxalite because when you do, you end up uh, losing half the mass, which means you destroy half of the oxygen that you could have used on keeping your dupes from dying. So don't don't do that. speed this up a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is build an outhouse and then get some oxygen going. So uh, I probably said this already but this series is going to be for those that know nothing about the game and those that do actually know quite a bit about the game. Uh, but that won't be till very later on once I actually get to the really interesting stuff. Okay so Nicola here might trap himself if this doesn't sublime fast enough. Alright, I got battle dupes. Oh, and the other thing, I forgot this. Priorities, yes. Building and digging, and then researching. So this forces your dupes to become specialized in different tasks, which makes them more proficient at those tasks. Now, we'll put in a ladder right about here. No, I don't want to do it right there. Put in a ladder. Uh, see, this is on the left side, so put in the, put in the ladder on the right side. So I leave one gap, and then the ladder. And that ends up right in the water, but that's okay. And then I do something like this, and then one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one, I put in the next one. So this is pretty standard. You put your floors uh, five apart so that you have four spaces on each floor. And I don't want to get over into the chlorine quite yet. And then when there's no floor, you just put in some floor. Alright, Nicola... Alright, I guess I have to make an exception here. Well, is there some sandstone on the ground? You might be able to build up and over. Yeah. I don't want to lose any of that oxygen. Okay, so... I'll probably put... Um, outhouses here. And bedrooms maybe up here. And then I'll get the research station going maybe down here. Oh, and the other thing, schedule, right. I'm kind of all over the place. You want to make different schedules so that all of your dupes aren't on the same schedule. You want to offset them a little bit. That way you don't have them all going to the bathroom at the exact same time, because then you'll overload the bathroom once you get a bunch of dupes. 
So you just offset the schedules like this. And you may have noticed that I also took away one of their bedtime slots. And that is because dupes only need two, two uh, bedtime slots to fully recover their stamina. So something like that should be perfect for the early game. Now they'll keep digging. And then I will build... Let's see, can I fit this? One, two, three... And then my door, we'll put it right here. And then we'll lock that up as well. So when they finish these doors, oh, I'm out of copper. Um, you wanna change the settings on the doors to allow for better efficiency in dupe travel. And I'll go over that. Um, it helps a lot in the early game when you don't have very many dupes. And once this completely sublimate, sub sublimates, I think that's the word, Sublim yeah, sublimates, it's when a solid turns into a gas. I will uh, be able to put in the outhouses. Okay, so right here, you want to open the bottom ones, and then turn off these two arrows for the top ones. And that forces them to go through the bottom door instead of, so, sometimes they'll use the bottom door to climb up and stand inside this top door. And then they'll go onto the ladder when they're going up. Um, I don't know why they decide to do that, but I guess that's more efficient for their pathing. But I like them actually going through the bottom one. Here I am talking about efficiency and I force them to go the more efficient way, inefficient way. Um, but anyway. This will go here, and we do need to get in some wash basins and an outhouse. And then we'll put another outhouse there so the doors can go here. And then we'll need to get down to this water here so that they can start fetching water. Stations. So we'll need two for the hamster wheel, one for the battery. I like to put my oxygen right here as well. So something like like that, so that we have room for the bigger battery when we make it that far. So battery, and then oxygen, oxygen diffuser. There we go. And that's pretty much all you need to do in the early game. Next step will be getting some farms built and we'll be growing some millwood. Uh oh, we gotta hurry up and finish this otherwise Nikolai's gonna make a mess. Nikola, not Nikolai. <laughs> I play too much zombies. So this one we will also lock, well, you could lock it or you could just uh, change the priorities. Both work. But I don't like the way the little lock looks, so I just change the priorities. Now this, you want to set it so that it faces the opposite direction of the entrance or in the same direction as their exit. That way they don't wash their hands uh, when they come in and when they go out, just when they go out, after they pick up some germs. So once, uh, once this gets built, I will start the research, and then I think that will be it for this episode. Uh, next episode will probably be setting up the farm for Mulewood, and since this is on Rhyme, right, it's super cold out, so we'll have to make some... I don't know why this is so hot. We'll have to make some insulated tiles. So that's not gonna be for a while in the research. Um, but hopefully you 
learn something from this. I know, probably not, since it's all intro-level stuff. Me, I do this one first, and then I do supercomputer, and then I'll probably go into the insulated tiles for the farm. Uh, the more advanced stuff will come later once the base is more advanced, obviously. Um, but this is it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, and hope to see you in the next one.